and we back. Today, I am adding Russell Westbrook to all 30 NBA teams. But listen. <laughs> There's a lot of versions of Russell Westbrook. There's a current version, which 2K has as a 77 overall. There's MVP Russ. There's Young Russ. There's Houston Rockets Russ and Washington Wizards Russell Westbrook. We're going to spin a wheel 30 times, and whatever it lands on, that's the version of Russ that they get. You just got to hope you get the MVP version because that could get you from a high team to a really, really good team. So here they are on the same wheel five different versions. So what I did was go back to previous 2Ks. So I got Russell Westbrook from Houston, his real stats in the Washington Wizards. Obviously the badges are different between the games, but I tried my hardest to get it as 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 perfect as possible, okay? And that even goes down the tendencies, okay? Even goes down the tendencies. So we're starting off with the 76ers. There will be a James Harden, Russell Westbrook comeback, and it's gonna be the young version of Russ which was the version that they played together. So we're going to get the 2011-2012 Russ, which again played with James Harden, and we're adding him to the 76ers. So I guess Tyrese Maxey is like the best six man in basketball because we got a point guard and eventually shooting guard. I'm gonna make sure that all the rosters look perfectly. But next, we're spinning for the Milwaukee Bucks. The Bucks are getting Washington Wizards version of Russell Westbrook. And Washington Wizards Russ is still pretty good. 85 overall, 32 years old. Does he start? Does he come off the... I guess we run Drew Holiday at the two, Russ at the one. I mean, he's still going to have a baby face because <laughs> uh, that's the young version of him in the face, but he's still 32 years old. Remember that. Please, Chicago, be the first MVP Russ. It's not. It's not. We're getting the Lakers version of Russell Westbrook, which is obviously the worst version of Russ. But you know what I will say, 2K? He's a 77. He's been playing a lot better than that recently. So I would say, personally... Uh, bring his overall up at least a little bit and they got him wearing the number 15 It's not me. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Cleveland already has two really really good guards and they're adding Young Russell Westbrook, which is a 90. I'm low-key kind of erasing certain players from history like Dylan Windler is gone Because I'm just gonna import the DNA from Russell Westbrook, which when you say that aloud sounds terrible uh, but now I mean Darius Garland might come off the bench because Young Russ is still nasty. The Boston Celtics are the first team to get the Rockets version of Russ. And Rockets version is an 87 overall. Still pretty good. Clippers get young OKC. And you think about it, that's actually insane because the point guard position is one they've always been trying to figure out. And now they got Russell Westbrook and Paul George back together, but now they got Kawhi Leonard too. So that's, that's crazy. Grizzlies get Lakers version. We haven't had a single team get MVP Russ just yet. And why don't Q? This is for the Atlanta Hawks, which is weird. It's going to be a weird fit. Definitely going to be a weird fit, but they're going to they gonna make it work. So they got, yeah, I don't know how they do this. DeJounte is 6'5". 6'5", we've seen 6'5", small forwards in the NBA. We might be able to get all three of them on the court at the same time. Move Russ to the two, I guess, and let Trey Young at 6'1", be the point. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Next is for the Miami Heat. Here we go. The Miami Heat also get MVP Russ. I mean, that's that's huge for their organization. It literally, it, it's, they could not have a better outcome. Now it's Jimmy Butler, Prime Russ, and Bam Adebayo, and then you got Tyler Hero. Like, that's a really, really good four. Um, the fifth sp starting spot is a bit iffy, but hey, LaMelo Ball and them, let's see what they get. They're getting Young Russ. One of the best teams in basketball right now, the Utah Jazz are all, everybody's getting Young OKC Russ. You would think that we play with the odds here with this wheel, but obviously we can't. Young Russ, of course, good enough to make the All-Star game, but I wonder which version of him is gonna get put in the right position to be the best. Like this young Russ and this young Russ are the two where they are on the, the best players on their team so far. So I would not be surprised if Utah's young Russ like ends up in the All-Star game. And the All-Star game is in Utah this season. So like it's perfect. Also, also give Larry Markin an All-Star appearance because he's been playing that nice. The Kings already got a super fast young point guard and they're adding one of the best young MVPs, fast. I don't even know what I said. Point guard. They get the MVP version of Russ. The New York Knicks. They already signed a good point guard this year, and they're getting the Rockets version of Russell Westbrook. Rockets Russ is still, like, the best point guard almost in Knicks history. Okay. This is MVP Russ. Do you want to see what team we spinning for right now? 
the Lakers get rid of this Russ and get prime him. And, and that's what they, that's kind of what they were hoping for when they made those deals, wasn't it? They're getting the prime version of Russell Westbrook right now, which is going to put them back into like, I, I don't know, Lakers fans. The big three is officially here now. Orlando Magic get Wizards version. Can Luka get a co-star? Can he get a co-star? He's getting the Rockets version, which will still be the second highest overall player on the Mavs. So I guess they'll take that. This is for the Brooklyn Nets. KD is already there. Which version of Russ are we getting? Another Rockets one. That's like, th is that three in a row? Spinning for the Nuggets who are going to get M MVP Russ and two-time MVP Jokic. How is that going to match? We're going to find out. The Pacers get young Russ. Wizards Russ for the Pelicans. You know what I was thinking? This is for the Pistons, by the way. I should have narrowed down the odds. But I also wanted a lot of people to get a very good version of Russ so we can... Oh, my God. Killian Hayes, the lowest overall player. We're getting rid of Killian Hayes. It's crazy. I wanted a lot of people to, like, appreciate these versions of Russ. So, I, I, people are probably thinking Kenny has way too many MVP Russes, but nah. I would be okay with MVP Russ taking over the league, even if I put him on all 30 organizations. Toronto Raptors are getting Lakers Russell Westbrook. We have not got a lot of Lakers Russ, but they get him. Will the Rockets get the Rockets version of him? Nope. They are getting young version. The Spurs also get Lakers version. I, they, they they really want the Spurs to tank in 2K, man. Every single one of these videos, they're getting the worst version of whatever player. The Suns get Rockets version. Give OKC MVP Russ. Give him MVP Russ. Beautiful. History writes itself. MVP Russ is back in OKC. The Timberwolves can use some really good point guard play, but they're getting the Lakers for. Hey, that's unfortunate, Timberwolves fans. I mean, any version other than this version would have been beautiful to your team. But this version, not so much. The Blazers are getting Rockets version. The Warriors don't need another elite player, but they're getting one anyway. What the heck are the odds? I guess one in one in five? Yeah, it's like one in five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And lastly, we got the Washington Wizards who are getting the Lakers version of Russ. I mean, some of these teams looked absolutely stacked. The C6 man, 86 overall is kind of crazy. The Bucks are like they can run it up and win another championship. Um, some of the Russell Westbrook's overall are going to be different because we had to switch their positions to make it all fit. Like, there was no way for me to get Russ, Mitchell, and Garland all starting because they're all relatively small. So Darius Garland is another 87 overall coming off the bench. The Celtics made it to the NBA Finals last season. And look at that lineup now. Smart is over to the two. They got both of the Jays and then Robert Williams. Like, that team looks really, really good. Clippers got their guard. Trey Russ and DeJounte all start together with Clint and John Collins. MVP Russ, again, makes this team look, look decent. Y'all know the Heat don't be getting love in 2K. Um, but, I mean, seeing Caleb Martin as a power four makes me not want to get him love either. See, like, this is MVP Russ, but we moved him over to the two. So, his overall is now a 93 instead of a 95. It just fits better that way, I think. Um, and the Kings look all right. They might be a playing team, for real. This is what a lot of people care about, though. MVP Russ with... 96 Braun and 90 AD. Now, Juan Toscano Anderson being your four is kind of wild. But, uh, I mean, you got that big three that might be good enough to carry long term. Luka moved over to the two, and now Russ is the starting point guard. This team also looks ridiculous. On paper. You know, Brooklyn Nets on paper always look decent. But, like, KD and Russ back together. No animosity. Just hoopers being back together. And then Nicholas Claxton at the five. That's the hole in the lineup. But the rest looks really good. Pelicans look crazy too. Any lineup that's going to have four players, 83 and above, I'm automatically thinking that they're going to be nice. Lakers version of Russ starts on the Spurs over Trey Jones. Don't ask me. Hey, I, I just put them on the team and let them do the rest. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 83 overall Russ with the Suns. Prime Russ, MVP Russ there. So Josh Giddy's coming off the bench. Even though Josh Giddy's tall enough, I could probably pull him over to the three. I'm going to let Giddy just maintain that second unit. This team gets six-man Russell Westbrook. And then these are the last couple. Um, I, how are the Warriors not going to repeat? You know what I'm saying? 93 Russ with the rest of this roster. How are they not going to repeat? I don't know. My first question is how many Russell Westbrook's make the All-Star game. So that's what we simulate to. Transaction Report has one, two, three, four, five different Russell Westbrook signed in long-term deals with their organizations. You love to see it. This Russ didn't make nearly as much as this. Oh, this is MVP Russ, right? So yeah, it makes sense that he gets all that money. Okay, here we go. Award races. 
two Russell Westbrooks are in the running. Pacers Russ is averaging... Where, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, this is young Russ. Okay, I was like, where's those rebounds at? See, this is MVP Russ, so he got the rebounds on top of it. Duh, Kenny. You know what I'm saying? Some of these versions are elite-level rebounders, and some of them are not. All-star voting. Here we go. Oh, my God. Backcourt in the Western Conference sees one, two, three, four, five. Russell Westbrook's in the top six. Out East. Oh, all oh, five. Ladies and gentlemen, Russell Westbrook is taking over the league. Nobody's stopping that man, Russell Westbrook, bro. He is doing his thing. But how many actually made the the teams? Nine Russell Westbrooks made the team, bro. What? Nine different Russes are in the All-Star game. That is insane. One of them is even a captain. The, the Heat version of, of Russ is a captain. He near averaging his triple-double. He's the captain. Team Russell, Team Nicola. Oh, this is so beautiful, bro. This is so very beautiful to see Russ back on top. I'm going to assume, based on the odds, that one of the Russes are going to win the MVP of the All-Star game. Uh, Team Russell won the thing, and this one averaged or oh, put up 22, 5, and 5. I'm going to assume that this guy took home the MVP award of the, of the whole festivity. So... That's beautiful. Anybody in the dunk contest three-point shootout? No. Nope. Three-point shootout was actually won by Luca. Wow. And the dunk contest by Anthony Edwards. And then we're not going to have anybody that we care about in this one. At least not in this video. But Giddy. Ooh, who wins MVP here? It's probably Giddy. 21, 9, and 11, right? That's, yeah, that's his award. He shot 8 for 11 from the field. Josh Giddy did his thing and won the MVP of the Rising Stars Challenge. Okay. This video really takes off once we get... A Russell Westbrook versus a Russell Westbrook in every single round of the playoffs. So, I'll see y'all then. Look at Jokic ruining the fun of this video. Look at him ruining the fun. Six man of the year goes to Darius Garland. That makes sense to me. Defense player of the year, Joel Embiid. Russell Westbrook wins most improved player. Because we took... This is Killian Hayes. Remember, we deleted Killian Hayes and, and put Russell Westbrook in his place. I was going to say body, but again, that just sounds so bad. In his place. Um. So, yeah. If you go from Killian Hayes averages... To this, you deserve a uh, most improved player for sure. And Nate McMillan wins Coach of the Year. All NBA team sees one Russell Westbrook. Okay, see, Russ is back, baby. You love to see that. Sees two, sees three Russell Westbrooks, sees four, sees five. So, five out of the six top guard spots in basketball belong to Russell Westbrook in today's video. Some of these are young Russes, some of these are MVP Russes. So, that's cool to see. I know Houston Rockets. No Wizards version of him ended up making it. We're going to simulate the play-in. Because who cares? You know, who cares? Actually make the spot. And here we go. See, this is a, a bad matchup for simulation. Because this version of the Bulls version of Russell Westbrook is the Lakers. So we don't care about that one. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I mean, he could be coming off the bitch and doing crazy stuff. But I doubt it. I doubt it. The, La the actual Lakers, the actual, actual Lakers are the one seed. Lakers Nation. You, you might see it happen again for the second time in the last couple seasons. I'm hoping we get a Game 7. That's our goal. Get Game 7s, jump into them. So we got two Game 7s in the first round. We have an MVP Russ versus a Young Russ. Bucks 76ers is a crazy first round matchup. And it's going to 7 right now. So you know what we got to do? We got to simcast, hope for a close game, and potentially jump into that. Because we got to see what Russ is going to do when he's guarded by Russell Westbrook. Russell Westbrook been guarded by Russ. People might make that joke a lot. The only person that can stop Russell Westbrook is Russell Westbrook. But that's like a legitimate thing right now. It's a four-point game with two minutes to go. Typically, we don't jump into games like this. But I'm eager just to watch. So we're going to do it. All right. So, um, Russ is being guarded by Russ. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Give him the ball. Yeah, this is what we're here for. Yeah, do your thing, Russ. Good pass. That's the vision we know. That's the vision we know. And that just blows it up into a seven-point game. I mean, if the Bucks don't score on this possession, we might get back to simcasting it. Just, just to be safe that we don't spend too much time in this game when it might be over. There's no Giannis on the floor is what I'm realizing right now. Probably not the greatest culture from Coach Bud to not have him on the, on the floor. Russ versus Russ. And who's going to win? Russ does. Look at that. We stay in this one because it's back to a five-point game. And look at the matchups. 28 from one Russ, 32 from the other. Oh, my God. James Harden just had Joe Ingles stumbling. He didn't capitalize. Or did he? Get to the basket. Misses. Uh-oh. Find number zero. Find number zero. 
I mean, I guess Joe Ingles can do what he want. He got, he got good playmaking ability. There he goes. Finds number zero. This is a big time possession right here. Beautiful screen by Brooke. Russ downhill at the basket. And he rock the baby on yourself. Do something. That is a big time basket, making it a one possession game with a minute and a half to go. But the other Russ gets downhill. Great defense by Brook Lopez and the rebound as well. Couldn't they close out game seven? I'm assuming that Giannis is like fouled out. There's no other explanation. He has fouled out. Okay, great. So at least I know it's not Coach Bud. It's legitimately him um, not keeping his hands to himself. So it's really up to Russ and the others. Russ trying to get downhill. But he's going against himself, and himself, that version of him is a pretty decent defender, at least at this point. Chris Middleton, tough midi. That's a tough midi, Chris. I know you're capable. I know you're capable. But that is a really, really tough one. Joe Ingles versus James Harden. All isolation. Tough shot. And just like that, the Bucks are still in the game. Chris Middleton gets the outlet, number 22, being guarded by DeAnthony Melton, who just looks so much smaller. Get to the basket, post him up or something. A double is coming. Somebody's open. Brooke, splash Melton, bang! Oh my God, this is a game, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds to go, and let's see what happens. Russ, oh my God, that's easy. At least I thought so, it won! That was easy. I, I can't believe they don't have him rocking the baby in this. Are we serious right now? This is the perfect time to rock the baby. Big free throw from not a great free throw shooter, but he knocks it down, making it a three-point game. Wow. Here we go. Need a three, basically, unless you go super fast. Need a three. Yeah, they're not playing the fast game. They're trying to play for that three. I guess, maybe. Let's see. Screen. Oh, but Brooke rolled. Oh, he scored. Oh, my God. Wow. That, that was a tough bucket over Joel B. Okay. Don't inbound it to Russ or do for content. They inbound it to Russ, who again, not the best free throw shooter. No version of Russell Westbrook was in the, You know what? MVP version of Russ was a pretty solid free throw shooter. And a clutch free throw shooter, too. First one is up and in. Second one is up and in. Still a one possession game. No timeouts. Probably the last possession of the entire game. He gives it up to Chris Middleton, who would have had a good open jump shot if he caught it with his feet behind the line. But he didn't. And just like that... We're out of there with the 76ers winning. That was perfect for what we want. This version of Russ, 37-9, and nine, and then 32-7. and seven. I think Memphis has a Lakers version of Russ. Um, and, and it's a close game. I mean, at least it was until that fourth quarter. Yeah, I think they have a... Uh, a I don't want to say a bad Russ. This was Russ had 18 assists. I don't want to say a bad Russ, but the worst version of him. Uh, but they end up advancing. So now we get to the second round where we see a lower seeded Cavaliers team, which has a really good version of Russ, um, go against that Philly team that looked elite. Lakers Clippers, game seven. How, this is like the perfect scenario. This is what people want. Oh my God. Hey, this is, just, oh man. Oh man. One point game with a minute and, and well, close to two minutes to go. In the Staples Center, the LA versus LA Classic. Come on, man. All right, both Russes are on the court. Um, LeBron has fouled out because that's what 2K does. So there's no LeBron for the rest of this one. Anthony Davis and Russ are still on the court, though. And so is Juan Toscano Anderson. So they had a chance. Um, but if, if Clippers Russ is taking advantage of Lakers Russ like that, maybe they don't. Maybe they don't have a chance. Anthony Davis for three. Bang! To tie it up. AD is clutch. They're sending a double Russell Westbrook's way and left Paul George wide open for three. I'm going to be honest with you, Darvin. It's not the greatest plan to leave Paul George open for three. Not that open. Okay, let's see what happens. This Russ is trying to do a lot. The A. When, when they're guarding each other, they going at each other's throat. They trying to showcase that they number one. They are the number one Russ. They continue to just go at each other. The Lakers have a chance to take the lead on this possession. Russ is trying to get downhill. He does. He misses, but number three is there. And blocked by Zubac. Oh, my God, they keep the ball. What a possession from Zubats to protect maybe the entire game. And look at the steal from Juan T. We was making fun of him starting, and he gets the biggest play of the game. There we go. Give him the ball. Anthony, you're bugging. Anthony's bugging. Oh, my God. He's tripping. Kawhi is guarding Russ. That's a tough basket to try. That was really tough. But, again, Russ is at the line. Who knows what happens? Even if he makes both, it's still a one-possession game. All right, Lakers. Um, Austin Reeves is in the game. 
Wants, he is still out there. So he's basically a non-threat for what they're trying to do. They go for the quick one. Zubats is just the greatest of all time. That's game. Zubats just really came out and made Anthony Davis look like a baby. Blocking his dunk once and forcing a miss another time. Lakers fans ain't happy about that one. I could tell they really mad at Anthony Davis. They call over him to get uh, to, to get traded or something. Again, the Bulls don't have a good version of Russ. So even if this one is close, we're just going to simulate through it. It's not very close. The Miami Heat do their thing and eliminate the Bulls. The conference finals is Denver and Clippers versus Miami Philly. And Young Russ versus MVP Russ in that one. And Young Russ versus MVP Russ in the other one too. So uh, seems like the formula. No Rockets Russ or no Wizards Russ make it this far, and Philly is just killing the game. Paul George wins Finals MVP, and James Harden wins Conference Finals MVP. So here we are, two young Russes. The MVP Russ wasn't good enough to get to the Finals. Uh, it's a good matchup, low-key. Very, very good matchup. See how it goes. Game one of the NBA Finals goes to the Clippers, and whoa, Joel Embiid had a really good game, but it was more balanced on this side, two-point game to close it out, and Russ had a really, really good one. Game two. Is the Philadelphia 76 is fighting back with an amazing game from Russ. Oh, man, you love to see it. Here we go. 3-2 Philly after they win this one in overtime. Can they close it out right now? Of course we get a game seven. This is beautiful. Here we go for the Larry O'Brien. Oh, man, Philly. Oh, man, Philly just dusted them. Oh, man, Philly just dusted these boys. 20-point game at the end. But it was a lot more than, than 20 in the first half. And Joel Embiid wins finals MVP. But in the elimination game, you know, Russ does an amazing job. No matter what, we saw Russell Westbrook win his first ring, and we'll take that. If you enjoyed the video, as always, be sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And come back tomorrow because there will be another banger. See y'all then. Peace.